everyone and good morning very good morning as i'm on a cruise ship today i'm on the norwegian pearl in this video here i'm going to show you off everything norwegian pearl has to offer from the food to the restaurants to the bars and drinks all the activities and public spaces and more starting off here at the pool deck and as a pretty good sized pool deck like if you like to swim it's a pretty good ship for that as there are two really good sized pools um, there's also going to be four hot tubs over here there's the bandstand in the middle that is used for different kinds of parties. I'm on a four night cruise and there's been three different parties and it's been pretty good. There was a Latin party, there was a glow party, and last night was really cool. They took all the musicians on the ship, the party band, the duo, and the acoustic guy and put them all together for a big musical performance. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a pool without some pool bars and there's gonna be two of them. There's gonna be one on the pool deck right down there. And right next to that's gonna be a grill that'll have like hamburgers and hot dogs in the afternoon. There's going to be another pool bar up there, the Sky High Bar. It's normally not quite as crowded as the one down below. and uh, But that is a smoking area, I believe. But they do have TV, so there's some good, some bads about that. All right, that is the pool deck. Let's go check out the rest of the ship. I am currently on deck seven, right in the middle of the ship, in what's called the Crystal Atrium. A big atrium, really fancy atrium. Obviously, you notice the giant Jumbotron over there. And they use the Jumbotron in the evenings. Uh, last night, they played Avengers Infinity War, a great movie. On Monday night, they had the NFL football game on there. I do like the sort of the crystals that change colors overhead. You do have a really cool blown glass sculpture over here as well. Mm -hmm. One thing I found interesting with this ship, they really don't use the atrium at all during the day. All the atrium activities really take place in the evening, which I think is kind of a bummer. Like you could show movies during the day in here or have something else going on instead of just screensaver mode. Wouldn't be an atrium without an atrium bar and that's located over here. Runs some very long hours. Other things you'll find in the atrium area, there is a shop. In this shop, they'll change up depending on what they want to sell. Right now, it's jewelry. Other nights, it's been liquor. You've got some nuts and bolts things here in the atrium area, so your guest services, restaurant reservations, shore excursions, Cruise Next. Um, Norwegian Cruise Line does a really good deal with their Cruise Next, so you could buy more or less gift cards to come back on a different cruise for big time discounts. I actually booked this cruise while I was on board a different Norwegian cruise, and you could save a lot of money. Also, if you are a Starbucks drinker, there is a Starbucks in the atrium. I'm currently in the Bliss Ultra Lounge, which is on deck seven in the front of the ship. And this is an interesting space. It is a very, very big lounge, but not only is it a lounge, it's also a bowling alley. They've got four full lanes of bowling. Now the bowling will run in the evenings about five to nine. It is an additional cost, but that's really neat. Also, I love the idea of bowling on a cruise ship. While the ship is moving, it makes bowling, which isn't the easiest thing to do, even more difficult. Now this big lounge, every night of our cruise, it's been used for karaoke. Um, they do family friendly karaoke early and uh, adult only karaoke late. And it is very, very popular. I think the karaoke has been more popular than the nightclub on the sailing. On the top deck, all the way in the back of the ship, you got the sports court area, which is a full size basketball court, actually really, really nice. And then they'll do a couple of events out here. Yesterday there was a three point shootout. Today there's a three on three tournament. And if I turn around, right behind me is the rock wall. Kind of cool, the rock climbing wall is attached to the big funnel. And this is included with the cross of your cruise. It'll have very limited hours. The hours will be in the freestyle daily delivery guide. So I'm on that times guide piece of paper. Like today, I believe it's only operating from about 4 p.m. till 6 p.m. On deck 12, back near the funnel, there's a couple interesting things. There's a driving range where you can hit some golf balls. There is also going to be a shuffleboard court and somewhere where you can play giant checkers. I am currently on deck 13, all the way in the front of the ship. This is the Spinnaker Lounge. Now, during the day, it's really not used for too much of anything, but in the evening, it's used a lot. In the early evening, there'll be musicians playing in here, whether it be the party band or the guitar guy. There's also going to be game shows in here, like the newlywed game is in here. Along with, I think every single night, there's been a game show at eight o'clock. And then later in the evening, it becomes the ship's nightclub. And it's really, really good sized lounge. One negative, there is parts of the bar that have a strong like sewage kind of smell, and that's kind of gross, but it is a very, very big lounge. And I've enjoyed the musicians quite a bit. Located above the atrium on deck eight, you'll find Oshihan's. Now this is the 24 hour restaurant. It'll serve breakfast every day from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. From 11 a.m. till 10 p.m., they'll serve the lunch and dinner menu and there'll be late night menu after that. We're gonna stop in here and have some snacks. There's also a full service bar and a coffee station that's open 24 hours a day. Let's take a quick peek at that menu here for Oshihan's. Now I'm at the lunch or dinner time menu. It'll be different other times of the day. 
Um, there are two cocktails on tap available here at the bar, the Passion Fruit Lime Cooler and the Glacier Blue. Worth noting there is a bar in here that operates very, very long hours. Stand there on the laptop for a while yesterday trying to get some, some editing done. Let's see what is for lunch. Uh, you've got the half dozen chicken wings, buffalo barbecue or sweet chili, loaded nachos, spinach and artichoke dip, pretzel bites, grilled sausage sliders. Uh, there's a soup of the day, Cobb salad, a Caesar salad. There are some entrees, a cheeseburger, the Wrangler burger, a blue cheeseburger, two different types of hot dogs, a Reuben salad, a sandwich, a chicken salad sandwich, and a fish sandwich. Let's see, the Irish American stew. Cottage pie potato skins, it's very different. Fish and chips, fettuccine carbonara, and then some desserts as well. I'm a big fan of the brownie raspberry cheesecake swirl. And my lunch is served here at Ocean Hands. Not super hungry, so I went for some chicken wings. I went barbecue this time, as well as an order of the pretzel bias with the beer cheese fondue. And here's how I would end every single meal at Ocean Hands. The raspberry cheesecake brownie. I am currently on deck seven, which is home to this wonderful wraparound deck that goes all the way around the ship. Uh, if you want to do a mile long walk, you take two and two thirds laps. This is also where you would find shuffleboard on board the Norwegian Pearl. Located on deck six is you'll find what's known as the bar city area of the ship. There's three different bars over here. You've got the wine bar, as well as the martini bar and the whiskey bar. And uh, first of all, I love the, uh, the bar, <laughs> no, the wine bar, that's fantastic. Uh, the Martini Bar actually runs pretty long hours. It's been open about noon till midnight or so, and that's, uh, I really like that. That's my favorite bar on the ship is the Martini Bar. Really like the French Raspberry Martini. They also do a really nice rum cake martini. Now down at the end is the Whiskey Bar, which will only be open in the evening times, and you can get some good stuff in there. There's a Woodford Old Fashioned I really enjoy. Uh, this area is home to a lot of activities as well, so during the afternoon there will be trivia down here. There'll be other games as well. Like I played uh, mini golf one day down here, and in the evening there is music. Also they have TVs, so I watch part of the NFL football game in here as well. Getting on deck 12 in the back of the ship, you'll find the Garden Cafe, which is the main buffet on board the cruise ship. Right now we're on a port day for lunch. Let's check out and see what is for lunch today. Starting off, you got a couple different soups. There is a chicken broth soup. Ooh, and a beef broth with meatballs. Oh, ooh. cheese bread. Do you like some cheese bread? Along with some more ordinary bread. Now there's always going to be a pizza station. Pepperoni, ham and sweet corn pizza. That is very different. Vegetable pizza, cheese. There is a uh, pasta station. Let's see what kind of pasta we got today. It's a pasta in a creamy sauce and a pasta with vegetables in a tomato sauce. There's going to be a salad bar area over here and that'll be there every day. There's also a carving station. Let's see, we got some roasted potatoes and some veal marengo. Ooh, look at that, roasted top brown. That looks a uh, pretty solid beef right there. We got vegetables, salivary steak with a mushroom sauce, peas and carrots and cabbage, chicken breast with a grain mustard. Some of the items do repeat, so we've got some soups. There's uh, so a fish dish. And then we're back to the potatoes. We got a fennel gratin, a turkey scallopini. Ooh, cream spinach and a grilled pork sausage with onions. More bread. You're also going to get a, uh, some fruits. This station is always going to be Indian food every day for lunchtime. Let's see what we got. Rice, roti, fish curry, dal, and masala. The station at the end is always pretty similar every single day. That's going to be your burgers and hot dogs area. French fries, burgers, chicken, hot dogs, toppings. And there's going to be a beverage station over here as well for coffees and juices and lemonade. It wouldn't be a cruise ship without ice cream. The soft serve machine is in the buffet area, along with a whole bunch of hard packed ice cream. Check out what is for dessert. It's kind of behind glass in all individual size portion. There's a strawberry cake, jello, 
carrot cake. Oh, this looks good. This is definitely gonna happen. A strawberry swirl cheesecake. Oh, and chocolate eclairs. Coconut cream pie. This is a very me desserts today. There's always gonna be a warm dessert as well. Today is peach and apple cobbler. A couple different types of banana cakes and pound cakes. There's also gonna be a small bar that just serves like sodas, a couple of wines, and a couple of beers. All the way in the back of the pit, there's the Kids Cafe. Now, I've never seen this in use for food, but there are a lot of tables that are lower to the ground. So if you have kids coming on the cruise, this would be a good place to eat with them. Now, if you go all the way to the back of the buffet, there is, on the back of the ship, there is an outdoor area as well. Now, this is very important for breakfast. Breakfast gets kind of crazy at the buffet, and most of the items you can find inside, they're gonna be outside as well for breakfast time. So I've eaten breakfast out here every single morning, and you could also get some fresh air, you know, get some of the views. We're in port today in uh, Freeport in the Bahamas. So uh, very industrial views on this side. But there's also a big, great outdoors bar out here as well. Since the buffet is relatively small, one thing that I do that I really, really like is they open up La Casina, the Italian restaurant, for extra seating during the buffet. So you can come in here and it's much, much, much more peaceful to eat in this side. Located on deck 12 in the front of the ship is the Mandara Spa and Salon. Now, I am not a big spa person, but if you want a massage or go to use the thermal suite and you want to pay for it, this is the area of the ship where you can do all of that. On deck 12, in the front of the ship, you'll find the Pulse Fitness Center on board, which is the gym. A pretty decent sized gym, lots and lots of treadmills. The treadmills all have TVs on them, so the same channels you'll get in your stateroom, you'll get on the treadmills here. Uh, something I like about the gym, after you have a good workout, you can go over here and grab a cold towel to put on your face. That feels fantastic. They also do some upcharge classes in here, but uh, one thing I wanna note, if you're on the treadmill, it will cut you off after a half an hour. So just be aware about that. But a uh, pretty solid gym. On deck 14 in the top of the ship, you will find a sun deck area. Definitely a good spot if you want some peace and quiet. Also home to this giant comedy shower. It's a, uh, that's different. More of the sun deck area up here on deck 14. And uh, you are on the top of the ship and you are in the front of the ship. So this would be a really, really great spot to watch you sail into a port. On deck six, you'll find the casino here on the Norwegian Pro. You agree with kind of the, the skill gambling games like the Crane Machine and Keymaster as you enter. And the casino, it's um, pretty good size. It is a smoking casino, so if you're, you know, uh, subject to being you know irritated by smoke it might not be the casino for you uh, they do pack as much in here as they possibly can and of course it wouldn't be a casino without a casino bar complete with the video poker machines now if you're curious what kind of table games they offer here on board the norwegian pearl it is roulette blackjack ultimate texas hold'em let it ride three card poker craps baccarat and mississippi stud Something that I found interesting, um, there was an NFL playoff game on Monday night, and they did uh, Super Bowls, kind of like, if you've ever done boxes for a Super Bowl, they did the same thing for that game. So it made watching that game a lot of fun. It was $20 a box. Unfortunately, I did not win, but it, you know, it still made watching the game a little bit more interesting. And there we go, that is the casino. Getting on deck 13, right outside of Moderno, you've got the Mojito Bar on board. They got seven different versions of the Mojito. It's a very small lounge. Normally not the business lounge you'll find. Only runs during the evening when the dinner is running. But they've also got a couple of really good uh, rum drinks in here as well. I am currently on deck seven and I'm getting ready for dinner. And tonight I'm gonna be dining somewhere a little bit different at the Lotus Garden. Now this is an included with the cost of your cruise it's an Asian restaurant. And I am very excited for some pot stickers. So let's take a look at the menu. Now this menu does not change at all. Starting with the appetizers up there. That's what I'm most excited for, the pork pot stickers. So it's also spring rolls, calamari, and a salad. Two different types of soup. You got beef, some kind of chicken, lots of different main courses. There's also uh, noodles. There's gonna be a lot of upcharge items from the sushi bar. And some desserts as well. 
very, very quickly. My appetizer course has arrived. I got an order of the fried pork pot stickers, along with a second order of the fried pork pot stickers. I really like oh, yeah. pot stickers. For the main course, I opted for the pork. <laughs> Looks pretty good. For dessert, I got the five spice chocolate cake, and that it just looks adorable. Also located in the Lotus Garden area is the sushi bar and the sake bar. And the, the sake bar, obviously, you could just walk up and get a drink. The sushi bar would be an extra charge. Located in the back of the Lotus Garden restaurant, you'll find Teppanyaki, which is a really fun restaurant where the chefs cook everything in front of you on the flat top. Um, I would say I definitely like it better on land than on most cruise ships, because on the cruise ships, they can't really do the fun with fire. And this restaurant is $59 a person if you want to eat there. Just off the lobby on deck seven, you'll find the art gallery on board the Norwegian Pearl. And that's a pretty good sized art gallery. This is also where you'll find the internet cafe. So if you need to use the internet and, and pay for it, you could do so on any of the computers over here. Which really uh, not the biggest deal now that everyone has a smartphone, but you know, if you break your phone, at least have somewhere that you could use the internet. Ooh, Star Wars stuff. Located on deck six and seven on the front of the ship, you get the Stardust Theater, the main show lounge here on board the Norwegian Pearl. Man, this is a big theater. It's fit tons and tons of seats in here. On my four night cruise, there were a show in here every single night. On the first night, it was called Legends in Concert, which is three different tribute acts. One was Tina Turner, one was Madonna, and one was Michael Jackson. That was a pretty fun show. On night two, the big party band, they were just in here playing classic rock songs. On night three was another big singing and dancing show called Pure Variety. And night four, they just got the duo in here playing a tribute to the Bee Gees. Now, I will say I'm not a huge fan that they, uh, you know, two out of the four nights, they just kind of had bands on the in the main show theater. I figured, you know, you should put a bigger production in here. But also, uh, the Norwegian Pearl does a lot of uh, buyout cruises and charter cruises. And I imagine, with this theater being so massive, that is a big, big part of it. Located on deck seven, right next to the atrium, is also the photo gallery. So if you took any photos on board and you want to buy them, you can do so over here. Not really the biggest uh, person that takes pictures on cruise ships, or generally anywhere. Do you find it cool? It's kind of like a whole bunch of Las Vegas pictures on the walls. So that's neat. And all sorts of fun things for you to take those souvenir photos and put them in. Whether it's a towel, a little monkey, or the chair. The chair is really, really nice. Look at that. It is dinner time, and there are two main dining rooms here on board the Norwegian Pearl, and I am going to be eating tonight at the Summer Palace, which is kind of the fancier dining room, and is located in the back of the ship on deck six. A very, very pretty main dining room. Look at this. Chandeliers and stuff. Big old piano. Got a table next to the window, sailing out of the eh, not so pretty port of Freeport here in the Bahamas, but oh my goodness, the menu looks so good. Cheesy mashed potato croquettes, pork pot stickers, skillet cornbread. Oh, man, that sounds really good. Let's see what are the featured entrees. All right, sirloin beef skewers, chicken cordon bleu, some fish dishes, eggplant parm, Hawaiian pork belly. This is a menu. Of course, dinner gets started with bread, and I love that they give you three different types of bread. So I did something I don't normally do. I ordered two different appetizers because I love pot stickers and I also love croquettes. For my main course, I opted for pork belly, which is a, a dish I absolutely love. Not something I don't think I've ever seen on a main dining room menu before as an entree. The dessert menu for the night, there is cannolis, a cream cheese carrot cake, bread pudding, espresso cake, and an English trifle. For my dessert, I got the English trifle. Now I'm in the Indigo dining room, located on deck six in the middle of the ship. And not quite as fancy as the other ones, but I do like the uh, different kind of American city decor. Let's go have some dinner. Take a quick look at the menu here. We got a crab and cheese wontons, shrimp cake, cheese and fruits, bruschetta, smoked mozzarella ravioli and a lobster cream sauce, seafood gumbo, cream of cauliflower soup, French onion soup, Greek salad, spinach salad, Caesar salad. Let's take a look at the entrees for the evening. Beef sirloin medallion, chicken piccata, grilled tilapia, sauteed shirt and scampi, vegetable burrito, and then pork spare ribs. 
for my appetizer first, I went with the French onion soup. For the main course, I got the beef sirloin medallions. So it's got a really nice gravy on top. A quick look at dessert. We got fresh strawberry shortcake, warm chocolate lava cake, salted caramel chocolate tart, honey creme brulee, apple pie, and fresh fruit. For dessert, I got the uh, Crucia Tradition B Warm Chocolate Lava Cake. One thing I really like is the artwork on the forward staircase on the ship, as they're all like awesome giant pictures of animals. Like you can see a, a giant panda here. If I go up to the next floor, you could see a baby hippopotamus and a mom hippopotamus. On deck 12, you will find this wall of plaques. Now these plaques are all given to their Norwegian portal by different cruise ports when it sails there for the first time. Uh, the Pearl is not the newest cruise ship out there, so as you can see, it's got a lot of plaques. Also in this area of the ship, you will find a card room, a pretty good sized card room. And then you're also going to get the Perspectives Photo Studio, so if you want really fancy pictures taken, you can come up and do it in here. Located right next to the bar areas and the bistro on deck six, you'll find the Cigar Lounge. Now this is a lounge for cigar smoking only, so not cigarette smoking. And it has a lot of uh, comfy looking chairs. On deck 12, towards the back of the ship, you'll find the kids club area. Splash Academy for the little kids. And Entourage is the teen club. Now also in this area is where you'll find the video arcade. The teen club would be down that hallway there. Uh, there's an arcade package, so uh, you could buy a pass to get all the arcades you want to play. Not the prize games, but any of the, the games with like the, the green swipey boxes. Not the biggest arcade you'll find here, which makes sense, but uh, they, they really couldn't pack any more games in here if they tried. There are a lot of games. Now the games do all cost real money and uh, they're not cheap. Like if you want to play this Papa Shop basketball, $2.66. There are some games where you can win prizes as well. Everything from lower value prizes like uh, keychains or plushies to higher value stuff like cameras and headphones. Got a Halo Fire Team Raven right next to Plucky Dinosaur. And then Jurassic Park as well. In the hallway by the atrium on deck seven, you'll find a squash penny machine. For two hours, you can get a souvenir of the Norwegian Pearl. Specialty dining is a big deal on all Norwegian cruise line ships. The Norwegian Pearl is no different. Now these are restaurants that cost extra money and are not included with the cost of your cruise. In this next segment, I'm gonna show you all of them. Tonight, I'm dining at one of them, and that is La Casina, the Italian restaurant. And this is the room here at La Casina. Uh, very Italian homey. Uh, you definitely can tell that you're right below the basketball court as every couple minutes uh, basketballs do make basketball sound. You're doing a big chunk of welcome bread along with some olive oil and vinegar. Let's take a look at the menu for La Cucina. On the left side, you get one option on the left side. Any of these appetizers or any of the pastas or risottos that are gonna be done in a small portion. And then for your main course, you get one of the pizzas or one of the meat or fish dishes. For my appetizer, I opted for a appetizer sized portion of the spaghetti carbonara, a dish that when Molly sees this video, she will be very jealous about. A very hearty sized appetizer as well. My main course has arrived. It is a beef tenderloin, not a good sized beef tenderloin, with a peppercorn sauce on top, and then on top of the peppercorn sauce is a blue cheese ravioli. So this one, I am very, very full, but dessert has to come. There's a tiramisu, a panna cotta, a cannoli, a ricotta cheesecake, and a chocolate torte. For the dessert, I opted for the cannoli. I never turned down a cannoli. And uh, it's actually three small cannolis, which is good, because I am so full. On deck six, you'll find Le Bistro, which is the upcharge French restaurant. Pretty snazzy looking, kind of set off over here on its own. Uh, very, very nice dining room. 
Located on deck 13, you'll find two specialty restaurants right next to each other. You've got Moderno, which is the Brazilian steakhouse on board. I've eaten at Moderno on uh, different Norwegian ships, pretty good. You get bacon wrapped filet mignon, which is always fantastic. And then Cagney Steakhouse is obviously exactly what you think it's gonna be, really good steaks. On deck seven in the middle of the ship, you'll find the main shopping area on board the Norwegian Pearl. And there's really three main shops here. The first one, that's gonna be your fine jewelry store. So not really my thing, but it's a lot of people's thing. The second one, you get into the stuff that's more my thing. So this is going to be your duty-free liquor store. I believe that's also your perfume store. Very, very important. This is gonna be where they have all their toiletries too. So if you've got something on the ship, it'll be sold in this store here. And then my personal favorite store on board would be this one. And this is the one where you can buy all of your Norwegian Pearl and Norwegian Cruise Line souvenirs. And that's just some really, really nice stuff. Like with the, the duffel bag. Do you like it? We've got some polo t-shirts, fleece blankets. If you live somewhere cold, you can buy that hat with a poof ball on it. Really, really comfy looking, uh, very large hoodies. That's nice. A couple things I like, you get the, uh, the hat and t-shirt combo for $25. The pint glass is really, really nice. They do sell the uh, the cruise ship model ornament in here, which is something that Molly and I always look for when we're on a ship. Uh, we've been on the Pearl now, and this is my third time on the Norwegian Pearl, so don't need that, but uh, hey, they, they do sell it, a lot of cruise lines. Some cruise ships go on, no, don't. That's Love the uh, That's coaster. It's a no. really, really nice souvenir. Yes. Got some magnets. I really like this stuff too. Like they've got some nice like dry fit polo shirts. The cruise ship models and uh, some cool hooked on cruising backpacks. On deck 12, you'll find the library on board the Norwegian Pearl. Actually a pretty nice library, very big. I do like that you have these three desks with these wonderful window views. Um, if you try to work in your cabin, it is not the easiest. But those are really, really nice workstations if you have to get some work done on the ship. Now, there are lots of books here on the Norwegian Pearl, but one book there is not, shockingly, is Experience the Point, the unofficial guidebook to Cedar Point, third edition, written by our own Andrew Hyde. It's actually autographed by Hyde as well. Some notes in there. Going to take that and uh, leave it here on board the Norwegian Pearl so you could come here and find it for yourself. Take a picture with it. Send it to us on social media. On deck 11, all the way in the front of the ship, is something very unique. It is the bridge viewing room, and uh, this is something that's not on many cruise ships. Finishing up the video, I was in an interior cabin on the ship. It was a uh, stateroom 10, 11, 9. There's a lot of numbers in that. Interior cabin, I thought it was perfectly serviceable. Nice, big, comfortable bed. Uh, I thought the, the mirror was actually really, really fancy. Let me take this out, check out the button. Like that is neat. That is neat. Little vanity area if you need to get some work done or makeup, but uh, you know, not the best because you only got like that little stool. There is a fridge down there. You do have a TV. TV got uh, two movie channels and two channels that played nothing but TV shows. So perfectly fine entertainment while you're in the cabin. Another big mirror over here. I will say I did like the, uh, I think there's plenty of storage on this ship. So, and I love the closets. The closets have their own lights in them. Look at that. Along with a uh, safe, a couple of shelves. Now that brings me to the bathroom. Uh, so there's good parts of the bathroom and bad parts of the bathroom. One, it's very bright in here as the camera tries to focus. And uh, plenty of shelves, nice mirror. Uh, the shower was really, really nice. This is one of the larger cruise ship showers I have ever seen. This is uh, might be bigger than the shower I have at home, actually. It's about the same size. But then the, unfortunately, the toilet is in, it's a kind of an odd position, and like the wall is right here. So there is uh, not a lot of room. It is very, very cramped in the toilet area. And that'll do it for my cruise here aboard the Norwegian Pearl cruise ship. Um, some information about this cruise, it was very, very cheap. It came to like 159 per person. So I it was selling by myself, so I paid around you know, 320, 330 for it. And then uh, then you had to add in the gratuities and the service charges and all taxes and fees. 
But uh, yeah, it was a pretty pretty good deal, and I did book on board, so you got uh, an even better deal. Uh, Molly's fine. If you're curious where Molly is, she just can't come on every single trip, so unfortunately she couldn't make it on this one. Some of the, the best parts of the Norwegian Pearl for me, I really like dinner. Every night I had a great, great dinner, whether it was in the main dining rooms or the Lotus Garden or uh, La Casina. Oh, that La Casina meal, that steak with the ravioli on top, that was absolutely fantastic. I do like how this ship has other options for dining. Oh, you don't want the main dining room or the buffet? Well, you could go to Oshihan's at any time of the day. Or you could go to the Lotus Garden and get some really, really great uh, Asian pork and, and pot stickers. So pot stickers were great. Uh, other parts of the ship I really enjoyed. I love having that big outdoor section on the back of the buffet where you could just hang out, enjoy a drink, enjoy a meal, and enjoy the ocean air and some great aft views. And I also really like the Bar City area with the whiskey bar and the the martini bar, I thought that was really neat. Now there's some things on the ship I did not really enjoy. For one thing, I've been on a bunch of ships since the, the cruise industry has come back after the pandemic. And uh, for some reason, this ship still does the in-person muster drill, which is just a massive inconvenience, which is weird. Like every other ship, and I've been on other Norwegian ships, when you just do your thing online, you check in at whatever you want. Nope, here they shut everything down for like an hour and you've gotta go and sit in a muster station. It is awful. I will say this ship is 20 years old. It definitely feels 20 years old. Like there's very few parts of it where you're like, oh man, this is, this is really cool. I would say the atrium is probably the, the most modern feeling of the entire ship. And I definitely think that this ship can use a, a bit of a refurbishment and a, some, some upkeep. Uh, I did not care for the small chaos buffet. That was a pretty wild. Anytime you want to go in for breakfast, it was just a nightmare. Um, and the atrium activity was lacking. That cool atrium I was talking about, well, they didn't do anything with it all day long. Like, that should be playing movies or having more stuff happening. It just had almost nothing. And uh, one minor complaint, too, they do a lot of pre-batch drinks. And if you're paying, like, $13 for a martini, you don't want it to be a pre-batch martini. That's just not great. But overall, I had a really, really fun time on the Norwegian Pearl. Now, who would I recommend the Norwegian Pearl for? It's really, I would say, it's more about the destination than the ship itself. So if this is going really cool places that you want to visit, I would recommend that. Or if you're going on one of these charter cruises, the Norwegian Pearl, I think for the next month and a half, is nothing but charter cruises. And I think the ship set up pretty well for that with the giant theater, the pool deck area there where they could put stages and stuff. I know for Chris Jericho's wrestling room cruise, there's a, a wrestling ring on the top pool deck and they do matches. I believe uh, Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page actually won the tag team titles on a dynamite film on this very cruise ship. So if you're going for a charter cruise or you really like the itinerary, that's what I would recommend the ship for. All right, that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching these videos. If you guys didn't watch the cruise videos, I couldn't go on so many cruises. So thank you very much for that. And thank you all for watching.